time. Uh, you asked for a little more uh, instructional type video uh, for doing tie eyes. So <laughs> here goes nothing. <laughs> Um, as you can see, I've got a variety of calls here. Uh, I've got four howlers and then I have a little distress call. The uh, tie eye sound can be made pretty much the same on any call, any open read call. Uh, and, and the technique doesn't really change much. Uh, and it doesn't matter which tone board or which read or which call maker. So uh, I'll just, I, if I remember right, uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, but I think if I remember right, the uh, what you got from me last fall was one of my pup hours and uh, one of my open read distress. Uh, horn body calls. So I'm going to start with uh, one of my personal uh, pup howlers. It's got the same tone board as the one that I made for you, but uh, it does have a different read. It's the same uh, read design, but it, instead of being uh, the opaque colored reed that you have this is a clear version anyway uh, I'm zoom. okay zoom in here the way I do it and everybody seems to do it a little bit differently the way I do it when I want to do a kai I I start with my lips about uh, and I'll turn it here a little bit so I can see it better about half an inch or so uh, from the tip end of the reed and I don't use my teeth I use my lips just use lip pressure because when you use your teeth it'll tear up your reed a whole lot quicker and they'll need replacement uh, fairly quickly if you use your lips let that truck go by if, they use, if you use your lips, um, the reeds will last several years instead of a year or two. But anyway, uh, as I say, I start about the half inch mark or so. And then as I'm blowing, I just pull my pressure back towards the tip of the reed. And also uh, use my hands to uh, provide varying back pressure on the end of the call uh, to kind of give it a little different, uh, a little different rasp, a little different tone as you're doing it. Uh, so you kind of go from. A, a, low to a high to whatever in between uh, okay yep uh, I'll turn sideways here so maybe you can uh, get a little uh, better view of it are you zoomed in right on your face yeah okay. I screw up sometimes. <laughs> Let's try it again. Did you hear that little quiver I put in there at the end? I'm actually doing that with my diaphragm uh, and just literally putting a quiver to the uh, to the air pressure I could be wrong but I feel it gives a little more uh, realism to the sound uh, and obviously we want, we want them to sound as real as we can get them 
but uh, that's that's down on that call. I'll go to one of my full size Horn Howlers, which has a different tone board and read. This is a three quarter inch YDH1 Yeller Dog tone board uh, and uh, a 14 mil read instead of a 10 mil. Again, I go just about half an inch in from the tip and work back from there. Until I apologize for all this traffic noise. Uh, I'm recording this in my front yard at my work table. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, the sound does vary slightly from call to call. But but not very much, um, and I think, like I said earlier, I think it uh, varies from person to person as well. Mm -hmm. um, this this custom call uh, was made by another call maker who used to be a hob on the forum. Uh, it uses a uh, Carver tone board and reed. Uh, I, it's, so it's set up the way that call maker made it. Uh, I have not touched it at all. That didn't work too well. Let's try it again. So again, a little bit different, but the same idea. Then we'll go to another call. Uh, this call actually, <laughs> the body was turned by a former, uh, a former hob. The tone board that originally came in it broke, and so uh, I removed it and uh, installed one of uh, the Yeller Dog Thunder, what's called a Thunder Dog acrylic tone boards in it with one of my reeds. And last but not least, this little distress call uh, was made by a former hob uh, named, well, he went by the screen name of Archie Yoder. Uh, most of the old guys on the forum probably remember him. Uh, and uh, he didn't make very many of these little calls. Don't know why, I love this call. Uh, I have ever since I got it back in 06. And uh, I don't go, because it's a shorter read, I don't have to go quite as deep in. Uh, maybe, maybe three eighths of an inch from the uh, read tip. And again, just pull back. But uh, I mean, again, it's got basically the same uh, same technique and, and sound to it. Only it's a, a distress call, and it doesn't have much of a, a sound chamber, you know. So you wouldn't think it would be very loud, but.
it, it's so small I don't know hold it in my hand blowing it I don't know whether you could tell uh, where I was placing my lips or not but anyway uh, the best thing I can tell you is just keep practicing um, if you're getting the hang of owls uh, as well as uh, pre-distressed owls it, there shouldn't be a reason why you can't quickly uh, pick up on that tie eye. Uh, it, as, as you found out the other day, um, it'll, you know, not every coyote, but certainly on some coyotes, even after you've shot at them, uh, if you use that tie eye, they'll come back. Uh, at least part ways, um, you know. So uh, I guess at the moment that's probably the best I can do for you. Um, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I will make one more comment to you, just in case I. Uh, understood you correctly and then I'm correct about the power that you were doing that on uh, if it is the the black the little black power that, that you bought uh, you mentioned that you were trying to do uh, female invitations Granted, you can do female invitations on the pup hour, but it really, uh, given this time of year, uh, I mean, it's not, it's designed more, this call has designed more to do actual uh, young of the year pup vocals. Um, unless I have been misinformed all my life most generally uh, even though they're 10 11 months old uh, when breeding season begins uh, depending on which region of the country you live in from what I've always been told the majority of the young of the year females actually uh, don't get involved with the breeding uh, I've all, I was always told that it doesn't start until the following year I could be wrong about that so uh, you know I always uh, when I've done female invitations I've always done it on a, a more adult type uh, hour but uh, obviously I'm not telling you it can't be done I'm just telling you, you know, the way that I do it so uh, like everything else each to his own <laughs> anyway uh, I'm getting long winded here as I say I hope this has helped if uh, you have any more questions please let me know uh, or uh, heck even if you want to give me a phone call uh, my my number